أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن أول بيت وضع للناس للذي ببكة مباركا وهدى للعالمين الحمد لله We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us this opportunity once again to learn something new in Islam and arts. From the previous lessons, we have managed to learn different colors and how they are called in Arabic. We have learned how to paint a sunset. We have learned how to paint a dark night. We have learned also how to make an abstract painting. And insha'Allah ta'ala today, what we are going to learn will be something very, very amazing. And it's something that each and every Muslim relates to. As per the verse we have recited today, that shows you that we are going to paint the Holy Kaaba, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is what we are going to paint today. And what we are required for you, to have is white paint, a black paint, and a yellow paint. In other words, abiyad and aswad and asfar. These are the colors you are going to use. So first and foremost, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the whole canvas white. That will be my background for the painting of the Kaaba. And remember, the Kaaba that we're going to do today, the one that we'll paint, is just a simple Kaaba for the beginner. And it will be more of an abstract Kaaba so that our students and our viewers don't find it hard to paint or make an art of the Kaaba. So I'll start by painting the whole canvas white. This will be my background theme. I'm using the bigger brush so that I don't take a lot of time while doing so. Alhamdulillah, I am done painting the background. So we leave our canvas to dry. Then afterwards, we will paint our Kaaba, insha'Allah ta'ala. In the meantime, you can Add some black paint on your palette. So when your canvas is ready, you will use a masking tape. If you don't have one, you can use ruler to make a box, which is the shape of the Kaaba. So Al Kaaba has a very deep connection with Muslims. Muslims visit the Kaaba annually to go and perform Hajj and Umrah. We ask Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala to give us the opportunity to travel to Mecca and perform Hajj and Umrah. And Hajj is the fifth pillar of Islam. You cannot perform Hajj anywhere else in the world. You got to go to, to Mecca to perform Hajj. So that shows you that the Kaaba it's very, very important. I've never heard of someone performing Hajj at Masjid Al-Huda. 
and it will never happen. You've got to go to Al Kaaba and perform Hajj there. So, after coming up with your shape of the Kaaba, you will paint inside using color black. If you have a bigger brush, there's nothing wrong. You can use it. Remember, this is just for the beginners. There are so many ways of painting the cover. This is just a hack, an interesting way for the beginners to draw or to paint the Kaaba, the first house for worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was built. We as Muslims should really thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making us Muslims as we are the ones who truly follow the teachings of Sayyiduna Ibrahim alayhi salam since him and his son Ismail are the one were the ones who built the Holy Kaaba. Another fact is that the Kaaba is the center of the world. So we as Muslims, we are very, very blessed to be Muslims and to have the Kaaba. Kaaba give us gives us uniformity when praying. We all face the direction of the Kaaba. You cannot pray while facing Taj Mahal. You've got to face the Holy Kaaba. So Alhamdulillah, it has very many connections with us Muslims. So you will let it to dry, wash your brush, it has dried, now we will pull out our masking tape, gently. Impressive. So that's our Al Kaaba already. So we let it to dry again. Then after that, we'll come up with the idea of the Kiswa, the door, decorations on the door, and decorations on the upper part of the Kaaba. And our Al Kaaba will be done. And inshallah it will be readily available to hang it in your house. Don't forget always to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to call you so that you can visit the Holy Kaaba and perform Hajj or Umrah. Now it's time for us to decorate our Kaaba. We'll use Kaza color yellow, which is almost as gold. Remember, this is an abstract of the Kaaba for the beginners. So the wordings on the key on the Kiswa up top, they are usually somewhere around here. So that's where we are going to apply our color yellow. Uh, you see there, I am applying, I'm trying to make it more visible from uh, far. You can use a palette 
knife if you have one. If you don't have, you can use a brush just as we are using now. And all the Kiswa writing are usually in real gold. Whenever you look at the Kaaba, those writings, imagine that's pure gold. MashaAllah. What do you expect? It's the holy Kaaba. It should be beautiful. So that should do it for the upper part of the Kiswa. Now we'll do the same thing for the door of our beautiful Kaaba. Even the door of the Kaaba, it's pure gold. And it is only one family which have access to the key of the Kaaba from the reign of the Prophet وسلم, up to now. There is our Kaaba door. May Allah preserve the Kaaba. Just as he did during the time of Abraha. I know you've heard about that story which is mentioned in the Holy Quran on Surah Al-Fil. Alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al-fil. That surah talks about the Holy Kaaba and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected the Holy Kaaba from Abraha. Not Abraham, Abraha. Tara, there goes our Kaaba, mashallah. It looks beautiful. And that is our Kaaba for today. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us visit the Holy Kaaba for Hajj and Umrah. Even if it's not this year, in the years coming, inshallah ta'ala. And may He also accept for those who are traveling for Hajj and Umrah, may He accept their worship and their ibadah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just as He has call them to perform Hajj and Umrah, inshallah even us, he will definitely call us to visit the Holy Kaaba. This will be the end of our lesson today, our session. Alhamdulillah, we have managed to paint a Kaaba. It looks very beautiful. And it's ready for you to hang it in your wall. Just simple steps. You paint the background, then you paint the Kaaba itself, then decoration on the Kiswa, the upper part and the door, and then you're done. For a beginner, they should do it up to here. This is the end of our lesson. Jazakumullahu khair wa billahi tawfiq ma'asalam.